In this video, I'll show you how to create a video in Camtasia quickly and easily. Let's get started. So first, let me just point out a few things on the Camtasia screen. I've already launched Camtasia. And when you first launch Camtasia, you're going to see this pop-up window. And when you first start out, just go ahead and click New Project. And this screen will appear. And Project can hold multiple pieces of media in the media bin. So once you record something, you're going to see that recording here in the media bin and it will build up additional recordings which you can then move down into your timeline to add them to your video. So across the top you see uh, usual pull down menus which I won't go into in detail right now but maybe in future videos. And on the left, once I have my first recording, I'll show you how to quickly and easily add some uh, cool special effects like annotations. There's all kinds of captions and shapes and arrows and things that you can add. There's transitions that you can add in between your clips, behaviors to uh, further animate text, animations if you want to zoom in on a particular portion of your video, cursor effects which uh, my favorite is the yellow circle here that follows your mouse pointer. You can select voice narration, although I just, when I click record, which I did, I have my microphone ready and I just record into my microphone, but you could paste your uh, script here as well. Uh, audio effects come in handy. For instance, if you add music to the beginning and the end, you can fade in and fade out. Uh, visual effects, some additional features here, drop shadow and border, and you can change the speed of a clip, for example. Interactivity, and it's a little limited in Camtasia as opposed to other uh, more robust tools like uh, Captivate or Storyline, uh, but you can add like a quiz to the timeline. And finally, there's captions down here where you can create captions for your video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mention to you that I've already clicked the record because I'm recording as I'm showing you Camtasia. So when you click record, this is the box that will appear and it will appear on the bottom right of your screen. And then when you're ready to record, you just hit this button here and you want to make sure that you have your audio turned on. So let me just show you here that you want to click and make sure that you have your proper microphone selected. Now I'm using a uh, tabletop Samson C01U USB studio condenser microphone. And uh, I've had this mm, for at least maybe six to eight years and it still works well. You just want to make sure that you position the microphone uh, properly, uh, talk clearly, and that you have a room with no background noise. And you can adjust the volume in Camtasia after you record. So without further ado, let me just record a minute or two. What I'm going to do today, which will be obviously in a separate video, is record the steps to create a free book promo for one of my books in KDP Select. So let me flip over to the browser where I have the uh, browser open to kdp.amazon.com. So I've logged in. What I want to do is scroll down to the book that I want to set up my promo for. Now I showed you how to stop it by pressing F10. Once you record something, it is going to appear in your media bin and it automatically added that to my timeline. And if it wasn't in my timeline, I can just take it and drag it to my timeline. So you have two objects here in the timeline. This is the audio and then uh, the bottom object here is the actual screen activity that's recorded. Now, if I did want to say increase the volume, because I do like to increase the volume a bit, I just want to make sure that I click outside of the objects and then again, click on the audio track. And then I'm going to raise this up um, just a little bit. Okay, and I want to press and drag upward. And I usually make it about between 
200, maybe approaching 300, 316%. And then what I want to do now is just play it for a few seconds so you can uh, hear what it sounds like. I'm going to go to the beginning and you could use this play bar here to move through your video. And I'm just going to push it all the way to the left and then press play. Hey there, everyone. I'm going in this video. I'll in this video. So you could see that I stumbled a couple times and I want to, I want to remedy that and I want to edit that out. So let me go ahead and zoom the timeline because I need to be able to grab specific sections of the audio. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, red part of the play bar here and I just want to hear a portion of it and let that play and then see what portion I want to delete. Hey there. Okay. So first of all, there's a bit of space at the beginning. Now you don't want to talk right away. Sometimes you might want to have a little bit of space there, but I'm going to take out about this much. And then you want to make sure that everything is selected in all the tracks. And I want to just right click and cut. Okay. Now there's also a little noise here, which I'll let you hear. It's just like a breathing sound. So I don't want that. So I don't want to necessarily cut it out because I might want that uh, little pause in the beginning. So all I really want to do is silence the audio. Okay. And then that silence that. So let me just, if you double click here, if you had um, it selected like this, if you just double click in the center part here, it's going to bring that back together. And let me just play a few seconds there. Hey there, everyone. I'm going in this video. I'll so I see some other parts in I want this to cut video. Out. I'll show you how to create a video in Camtasia. So I want to cut out about from here. And let's see, I say a little bit in the beginning that I want to keep everyone. I'm going after everyone. My voice gets a little shaky and I want to and just expand that and see. I think this is the part I want to extract here. I'm going in this video. I'll okay. So I don't like that. So I want to right click and cut it. And let me see how that sounds. Oops. I'm double click here. Hey there, everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create a video in perfect. I would go through the video and edit out any parts that I don't like. Now I haven't saved it yet. So I want to click file, save as, and I'm just going to call this Camtasia 101. Now it saves it into a file. Just click okay here, uh, with the extension T S C P R O J. And that's a, um, Camtasia project file. Okay. So let me just add one or two more bells and whistles, and then I'll show you how to publish your file. I want to turn the cursor effects on. So for the cursor highlight, I want to add that. So I'm just going to drag that down to my screen activity. And I might not want the yellow uh, circle to show right away. So what you can do is uh, when you mouse over the bottom, it's going to say show effects. You just click there. And what you can do is move the um, beginning of the cursor highlight over a little bit until when you want to start. So for instance, to create a video in Camtasia quickly and easily. So now I want to start it. So I'm going to start it about here. Okay. And let me also show you, um, annotations. So if you wanted to add like a caption, for example, you can just pick any of these and then drag them over and pay attention to where your pointer is positioned in your video, because that's where the object is going to get added. Now you could move that if you like, I want to, if I wanted to move it over to the right, I can move that over and you want to actually be sitting on it in order to see it in your uh, video preview here. And then what I want to do is just put in, um, I just double click to select the, um, caption here. I'm just going to put in the test caption for now. And then you can, you know, uh, change the size, uh, the color, and you can place it anywhere on your video. 
and see I want to change the color here I want to go over to the right and I clicked on the annotation properties uh, up here and then I want to change the white to maybe like uh, I don't know maybe like a yellow or something Ugh, I don't really like that let's try like a blue okay that looks a little better and then maybe the the text um, in here I'm gonna go back to the text properties and change the black to like a white okay that looks better okay so maybe I want to transition that caption in so with the caption selected here with the yellow border I'm gonna go into transitions and I'm gonna fade so I want to drag fade to that object and as you could see it applied the fade to the beginning and the end and you can uh, change that if you like maybe make it a little less or more so that would be like a quick uh, tour and I'm gonna have some more uh, special effects in additional videos but let's say at that point you wanted to save your video and publish it then what you would do is first let me just go ahead and save my file also with control s and then I like to click share local file and then when you share local file it's going to uh, just come up with a production wizard a pop-up box and a series of steps and we can just go ahead and click next to move through this and P4 is the recommended and I'm going to leave that click next and there's all kinds of changes you can make here but for the sake of time I'm just going to go ahead and click next click next and I want to change my destination location okay and click save and finish and then it's going to save my file and once your video is finished publishing depending on your computer settings it may open up in a player or in your browser and when you return back to Camtasia you just want to click finish and then save your file just one more time to make sure you've saved the latest changes and that's it for today's video if you have any questions leave me a comment in the area below and I'll be happy to answer your questions if you like this video please click like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one I'll see you in the next video